P and ID should clearly define the responsibility of each party. So if we see this simple pipe with two valves, we want to segregate between what is already existing and what we shall add in our P and ID. So we shall draw this line separating both valves. This line shall define the scope of each part. Now let's suppose that the blue portion shall be the existing system or that it shall be supplied by the client and we shall supply the red portion. So when this is shown on P and ID, it is understood that we won't purchase and supply the piping or the valve in blue as it's already out of our scope. We shall only supply the piping and the valve in red. The scope should be well defined from day one as any mistake or unclear definition shall lead to extra cost and loss of time if this mistake is discovered too late. This can even be more illustrated when we are purchasing a package or a skid which is a part of the process. This can be a compressor package, a desolder package, chemical injection skid, or whatever unit which is part of the process, such as gas dehydration using pressure swing adsorption package, for example. The package supplier is expected to supply all the components of a package, including its piping, equipment, instruments, etc. Now, we are expected to define what we are expecting the package vendor to provide and what we shall purchase. So, we shall draw this dashed box. What's inside this box, which is in blue, shall be provided by the vendor. And we shall provide the valve and interconnecting piping in red, which is outside the box. If these are not defined well, many conflicts may occur between different parties and people shall start to throw responsibilities on each other, which may lead to many issues during the project execution.